Well, a very good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Championships. Coming up next is another World Mixed Pairs game. It's Julie Forrest and Stuart Anderson, our defending champions, taking on Irish Lady of Sandra Bailey and Mark Dawes. Have a quick look at what's coming up for the rest of today. Well, shortly following this game will be Alison Merrion, MBE, and Paul Foster, MBE, taking on Carla Banks of Scotland and Les Gillett. Into the evening game at 7.30 is Sophie Tolchard and Nick Breck taking on Catherine Rednall and Robert Paxton. Quick look at the officials for this game. Our market is Neil Price and the umpire is Francis Fletcher. So let's go live to the portable rink here and I'm sure everyone's going to give Jack Jenkins a huge round of applause. Thank you very much, Jason. Now, our first pairing out, we have an Irish and English pairing. One has 20 National and British Isles titles to her name. The other, a former two times World Pairs and two times World Open singles champion. Please welcome out Sandra Bailey and Mark Dawes. we have a Scottish duo who has numerous national and British Isles titles between them. They both also hold several WBT titles, including the World Ladies Match Play and World Open Singles titles. And together, they are the current defending champions of this event. Please welcome out Julie Forrest and Stuart Anderson. Jason Parkinson in the commentary box. Well, thank you very much, Jack. Once again, everybody, very well welcome back to Potter's Resorts for this World Mixed Pairs tie. Joining me in the commentary box this afternoon is one and only Darren Bennett. Welcome, Darren. Yeah, afternoon, everyone. Looking forward to this Mixed Pairs, the holders in action. Against Sandra Bailey and Mark Dawes. Mark and Stuart, two of the, the best draw bowlers at the moment on, on the tour, I would say. Uh, skipping today, both got all the shots, so could be an interest, interesting dimension to the game. Sandra Bailey's been around the international scene for some time. Does very well at national level as well. Back in 2020, won the singles and pairs the same year. And the year before that, she won the pairs, triples and fours in the same year. So it shows you what a class player she is. I think both ladies will look forward to this match. The, it's the mixed pairs day down here, so just gives the ladies a chance to have some match play before the the singles event starts for them. Julie's been here many times and I think it will be a couple of her. Yeah, certainly got off to a great start. Julie Forrest plays Catherine Rednall in the ladies' world match play. That's on Sunday evening, normally on the Saturday, but it's Sunday evening this year, half past seven. Sandra Bailey, well, she plays Sophie Tolchard of England on Saturday. Look at this for a ball. <laughs> Very accomplished bowler. Uh, One great. Encountered Sandra at many of the international events, another present in Ireland's team, and a great bowler, so I'm sure she'll adapt well to the setting here. Okay. 
what I'm asking. Andrea. Here, Mark, yeah. Back hand row for Mark. Not much room, but I'm sure he'll be trying to get as close as he can. He can land on the back red bowl. That would be ideal. Oh, hurry. Hurry, last bit. Get back. Oh, super in. Not far away. A really good opening end. You can see the, the head from that angle. It just shows you how close these bowls are. Studying the angles here, there is a there is a backhand shot. It's not easy because it's probably with the the type of weight that nobody really wants to play. Stuart might just favour his forehand draw. He's very good at this type of shot. Right, Sent it again. Oh, he was good. Yeah, that's all. Lines perfect. That's all you're looking off at, Mark. Not exactly a spare shot opportunity here. There's, there's very little room for Mark. He has to make a slight adjustment on his first effort. He's on a good track here. Oh, look at this. Back onto the jack. Fantastic ball if he's made a second deal. Two shot, billion dollars. Oh, fantastic. Zero two, first end. Jack's been sent down here with a purpose, this might go off. <laughs> yep. Now Julie's choice, she's not moved the mat too much. Played an awful lot shorter. Jack length, 25 metres. Yeah, 25 metre jack, so two metres over minimum. Sandra down the backhand, just trying to repeat her first delivery. Got through this one. Just losing a metre should be enough. He's drawn this. One uh, good adjustment. Uh, good adjustment off our first ball there. Yeah. Both hands are available for Mark Dawes to draw this. 
may just favour the forehand. It always comes back the forehand on this this direction. Yeah, there's, there's a few people who have been switching on to that to that side. I think you know it's it's definitely a, probably a, a slightly truer side. Down to the pace, Mars, the line, super. Hurry, great track. Will we make Hurry. the trip? Keep coming. Oh, oh great goal. <laughs> Big shots against Stuart. Yeah. Judy thinks that's made it. The backhand off for Stuart here. We can just sit. Julie's bowled down, you can actually follow him and make a two. Just be trying to draw the shot round the front green ball. Any jack movement is good. Very ben. close. Sits the ben. red ball down. Oh, oh good effort. effort. Just wondering whether Mark may just draw into that that split now on the backhand, Darren. Yeah, I mean, it, there's obviously danger there, but I think he's got to do that. They've, they've got the back covered. Um, I think he's looking at sticking with this. Yeah, I, so. I suppose the only danger on the backhand side is if he does get Stewart's red ball and, and topples it, and both reds could fall in. So it, you know, it is a it's a slightly dangerous head for Mark. If he plays forehand, I think he'll probably just be trying to draw him. Maybe just as close as he can behind the red balls. Doesn't want to touch the red. Yeah, it's all right. Safe. Session time for Stuart. I think he'll probably just stick to his draw. Well, Pace will decide on this. Too far away from this red ball. Well Any played, movement. Yeah. Falls in a tall easy shot. Oh, great ball. <laughs> Fantastic shot from Stuart. May just ask for this second to get measured, he's not certain. One red, measure for two. Slightly favour green here. Watch in it. One shot, Forrest and Anderson. <laughs> so let's go one, two after two ends. Yeah, good start from both pairs, really. They'll be quite happy with the heads. Two decent heads to begin with. Jack length, 25 metres. Okay. 
Yeah, she didn't like that, so she let go. There's been a few of them done this event, probably more so than other events. I think it's just because people are conscious of trying to keep that narrow line, particularly a short jack. If you go too wide, it just won't get back, so the players are just trying to nip the line a bit, and that's often what happens. Well, Sandra's here again. Those people just asking about the bowls. Sandra's playing with a Aero Groove. Julie is playing with a Tiger Evo. Stuart a Taylor Ace, and Mark does a uh, hence like normal Tiger. Yeah, Julie just pushed that one out too high there, caught the first ball. I'm just keeping the forehand, there's obviously room to come inside these red balls. Just play to miss them, he just draws if they're not there. Bends underneath it, it's good. Oh, nearly. It's oh, come across off of it. It just looked like it was a, a clearer path down the backhand. Stuart will be trying to draw as close as he can. There is still room to draw the shot here. Just fell out. Yeah, Looks so, yeah. on a good track here. Is he going to make the trip? Not quite. Again, just falling away. It's not going to make Stuart's draw any easier down the forehand now. Probably going to have to come down the backhand. Can't afford to go too quick, he's only got one red ball in there, so it'll just be an arrive and draw, I think. Try and just land on the green ball or turn his own red one once. Yeah, playing down the tighter line, like I say, looking for either of the bowls. Very close to this. Played it. Oh, brilliant. One red. Yeah, great ball from Stuart there. Played to perfection. He's left Mark with. Similar dilemma really, there's not a great draw into it. I think if he, he draws, he's going to have to play with that same sort of arriving weight that Stuart did. He's got two green balls, either side, forehand or backhand. Just arriving in into that area, lifting one of the green balls. Comes off the backhand side, he does have the chance of coming off the inside edge of the green and onto the jack. For the balls, close. Oh, he's unlucky. Good effort there. Yeah. One shot, Forrest and Anderson. So let's go 2 2 after three ends.
think we need our researchers to tell us how many national titles. Twenty-four and a half meters. There must be a few with these four. Oh, definitely. Yep. Yeah. I'll probably work it out. <laughs> by the end of the match. That's my challenge. Is it work it out by the end of the match how many national titles between them? Trying to slip past Julie's ball here. Me just yeah, drift man. under. Good effort. Very good start. Right yeah, back. just needs to hold up. It's an old offer, Julie. Just trying to add a foot on her first. Come on, super track. Good balls. Just has to have good weight here, Sandra, with this one. If she's pushed through it, it might get back. Yeah, just that little bit of extra pace. It's finished pretty decent at the back of the rink. Gives Mark an option. Yeah, it gives, it gives Stuart a bit, of a, a bit of a problem in that Mark does go a bit quicker, he could take the two reds out or he could get right through to the jack, so interesting what Stuart plays here, whether he draws in or he, he decides to run for a bit of cover where he's first. Just get round the back of this jack and finish centre ring could be very good. Oh, brilliant. That's a great pace mistake. Mark will be tempted with one over here. Solid on the jack would be very good. Perfect. Oh, wow. two away. I'm happy with that, Phil. Definitely. Here he's just slightly quicker. Yeah, just draw, Mark, yeah. draw from Mark now, I think. He's probably only one down. Thinks he's quick. Unlike Mark, that two shots. A good two though for Stuart and Julie. Let's go four two after count. four ends. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, well played. Excellent start. Yeah, Julie's just started to find her groove the last couple of ends. First ball's been very good. Followed up by second most ends. Play here, I think. Thought. Coming, coming Well, again, Julie, looking to just get down to her own bowl. If she sits in front of the jack, it's very good. Just not making the trip. Natural drawing line on both hands has now been hindered with these two two balls just short of the jack. So Sand will just be trying to slip round her first green ball. Again, and then behind's going to help Mark. One red. It'll be a similar ball for Stuart here. I think he'll come round on the forehand, around the front green ball. He can land anything. Foot or two behind the jack, it'd be a great, great spot. Marker Back reached down. down. Yeah, looking to get another one near, he says. Yeah, he's trying to stick with his draw, I think. He's right back. He had a few runners already. Great effort here. Very big effort. Try and draw to Mark's last down, ball. It's really his target, I think. <coughs> well, this isn't too far away. I think he'll take a little bit of a chance just slightly underneath for the bowl or the jack. Yeah, I think he's got to. I don't I don't just see a natural line to draw it in on. You know, the backhand doesn't be look at it from that angle, but the red ball coming in is, is close to the drawn line, so I think he has to play over drawn weight for sure. He's got the respot covered both sides with the best back bowl. Chips his own green one away, he's going to be one worse off. But yeah, to get the shot, I think he's going to have to come up here with, with a bit of pace anyway. Going quick. One shot, Forrest and Anderson. Yeah, Let's go. 5-2 after 5 ends. They'll foul all that before, that's for sure. Well, I'm impressed with your, with your homework skills. I believe, we have, <laughs> uh, I believe we have 40 national titles on the rink, so that's uh, some going. Yeah, 40 national titles between four players. <laughs> Superb, isn't it? Jack length 23 and a half metres. Just glad I brought my calculator with me. <laughs> <laughs> Jack 
really looking to continue with this first ball. It's been very good the last few ends. Decent start again. Clear road needed. Both enjoy it. Still found the rhythm now. Oh, that's good. Good start. Good start. Oh, nice and solid. Will be good. Right. Yeah. <coughs> On away. Yeah, I'd be happy with that result. Just One red. This is certainly going to guarantee being passed. Stuart's left the door open slightly for Mark here. It's not too far away, just needs to make the trip. Anything over the seam is good. Great ball. One green. Down, have a look at the head here. The way the hand plays, it's, it's still drawable on that forehand side, but it's a tough draw. They would be frightened to run it, I think, in case they get the front green ball onto the red ball. That would be a very bad result. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Stuart try to still draw this. Just going to give up. Very good effort. Doesn't make it much easier for Mark. Doing a tighter line this time, Mark. One shot, billion dollars. So score five three after six ends. Single keeps him in the set. Five three down after six ends. Jack length, 24 metres. Both teams favouring the, the shorter jacks at the moment. Yeah, there's not a lot of difference between this length and what Julie's playing, just a, 
a meter in length, but the jack's in a slightly different place. Sometimes you can play a, a very similar length, Darren, but just different part of the ring. Yeah, both of you. Yeah, absolutely. I see a lot of people at this particular length quite like that forehand going away from, from us here in the commentary box. As it gets a bit longer, it, it tends to be a slightly harder hand to, to judge, but at this length there are a lot of players that quite like that forehand coming down. Turn me, Mark. Yeah, I think it's always trying to go back. Great opening ball from Sandra now, having to change her hand. Anything behind hand is hand okay. Hand. It's lying a good one. Just going to pull up here, I think. She was on a cracking line there. One green. Well, chance for Mark to put a bit of pressure on. Stuart will just try and come inside Mark's ball. It's far enough out. Actually, probably a decent guide for him, actually. Could always get a little bit of a corner off it as well if he's just that ball wide. Plenty of options. He's down a very tight line here, so this will go quick. Chance here for Mark. He can play a full draw. Turn of the jack's going to be in his favour. Searching down this tight side, I think that'll go again. That just shows you how tough that shot is. You know, it's pretty small margins we're talking about there. Uh, really missed probably the line by a ball, ball and a half. Finished five feet tight. Two shots, billion dollars. Well, two shots, so level pegging now going set into the final two five ends of five this up first to set. Seven ends. Length twenty five and a half meters. Far as you can, though. Far as you can, great starter. Great start here again. Very good. Thanks. Yeah. 
Just needs to break now. Yeah, no, just do it. Not bad, I thought. Just in behind. Yeah, carry on, yeah. Yeah, same again. Just again, sure. Anything inside your own's a shot. I pull up here, Julie, I think. Going was probably good. Just gone off a little bit the last couple well, of ends, Darren, I think. She's got off to a flying start for the first. Maybe five ends, just the last couple of ends, just a few loose balls. It's allowed to get Sandra and Mark back in this. Yeah, yeah, Julie certainly for a two the end spell there was, was playing excellent, you know, and she's not drifted off too far, but that could be down to Sandra putting one or two good ones in as well, so good battle all over the link here, weeds and skips. A great ball here from Mark Dawes. Excellent ball. No distance to pick it for one with a slight touch would be unlucky he has. Yeah, probably a safer one. Don't just the one, Stuart. Okay. Definitely. It is a closer one. I'm sure Stuart will be delighted to hear it. It's just one. There's no one here, isn't it? A disaster. Who makes I mean, it quite play difficult. either hand, you could be playing it to turn the ball and it would push the jack to mine, or you're drawing down here. Forehand off for Stuart, I think. He's trying to turn the green ball onto the jack. Julie's ball's waiting on it. Come on! Come on, well. push! <laughs> so unlucky. Just <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> make some funny noises, Julie. <laughs> 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 One green. Yeah, super effort there from Stuart. Really, just played it absolutely perfect, and just didn't get enough on the jack. Made it hard for Mark though to, to add another. And there is room, but he has to be absolutely perfect. Try to draw around Stuart's ball to the back red one if he can. Well, perfect track. Just ever so slightly short, so Stuart try and just come round this or push the ball out. I think he'll stick with the draw. Just too many connections in there that could end in different results, especially with the back green ball at the back of the rink being against them. I think he'll just try and draw around his own ball. He knows if he gets to Julie's, he's probably getting the shot. Set score 5 6 after 8 ends. Well, Mark and Sandra have the one shot advantage going into this final end. Funny how she doesn't step out with the jack. She has a fixed position with the jack, but with the bowl she steps out. Whether that's maybe because the, the carpet's so quick, or I'm not sure whether she does that normally. Jack line yeah, is 24 and a half metres. metres. Actually, for the first time, yeah, it's slightly unusual.
Couple of feet through. Julia will be looking to step in here. Oh, she's played one. Well. Fantastic. Just the pace keeping it. Big chance now for Julie to put Mark under some pressure here if she can draw another one. Decent here again, I think. The weight looks really good. Well played. Uh, Chair crackers. Fantastic. That's a, a set lie. Yeah, it's a, it's a set lie and, and two close balls and, and no target. So, can't ask for more than that. Decision time for Mark Dawes. There really isn't a target at all. Uh, just basically, you can see it there. It's, it's a ball width, really. He's capable of drawing it. Just depends what he decides for the best with this first one. Can we draw? Well, this isn't right. mile away. Right. I think he's played this. What a ball. Oh, 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 oh. fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding ball there. needs to draw this, if he can get any turn of the jack, it's going to be to his favour. He's very close. Oh, half a ball really. One green. Yeah, but the unfortunate thing for Stuart is that green ball is well and truly locked in there. To get rid of that green one, you're going to remove a few reds as well, I think. Mark Dawes draws here to where he's pointing with his fingers right now, that is probably the perfect spot. <laughs> yeah, Mark will just cover this forehand trail that Stuart will be looking at. Track's very good for this. Just not going to make the trip, I don't think. Well, there is a chance. Not easy. draw the white four or five inches or if you decide to hit then it really is into unknown territory there will be red balls going through with the jack if he does hit it but no guarantees well he's made contact Just one. Tie the set if it's one red, mind you. Yep. You take that right now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the measure. It's been that type of set, really, to be honest. It's been very tight. Very 
and the outcome is going to come down to the umpire measure. Don't forget, shortly following this game, we'll have a, a quick 10 minute break and we'll see Alice and Merrion of the Channel Islands MBE and Paul Foster MBE take on Scotland's Carla Banks and England's Les Gillett. That's the next game coming up for you this afternoon. Yes. This is one green. One shot, first set, billion dogs. Not quite, so first set to Sandra and Mark. Decent set of balls. All players contributing to it. Jack length 25 meters. here from opening two balls. Plenty of room for both skips here. Yeah, nearest balls. One green. Two feet. I wasn't convinced, Mark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <you're right>. um, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Don't think he was. <laughs> Don't think he was. <laughs> Little wry smile. Well, it's probably the same as the last one. You benched, Stuart. Better effort here, Stuart. On this. <laughs> Attacking ball. One red. <coughs> yeah, so the back position is in Green's favour. I was just struggling to remember no. the best back, but yeah, Green <coughs> is best back ball. There's a touch or so the red ball's probably going to come through with the jack. Depends if it's going to get caught on any balls on its way through. Yeah, that is the issue. Yeah, 
Well, Mark's had a look at all the angles, so he'll have in his mind exactly what he's going to play. Just wondering whether he'll just try this. Yeah, I think he is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no. One down. One shot, Farson Anderson. Yeah, three of outcome. Speed one red. One zero, first end. Length twenty five meters. Purely trying to open this end up with a good one. Looks like a good start here. Decent opening ball. short Sandra so Julie will be trying to get round her own. Sound draft on the first one. Very close here, Stuart, if he gets round the front red. Just fell away, maybe. Coming down, just have a look again. Just be wanting to check all the angles. There's a, a front plant of red bulls there that would be coming in towards the head if he decides to attack this. There's undoubtedly room for Stuart to draw it off the forehand. I don't think he can. I don't think he can keep his backhand now. Obviously, with Mark's last ball coming across to where it has, so his options are really a, a runner, even for the jack, and he tries to draw it off this forehand. Follow Mark's last ball in. Stick and raise draw. Just needs to come back now. Here it comes. Yeah, I think he's drawn this. Oh, well played. One red. It's sticking out though, in a position where Mark can get to it. 
And he too will be wanting to come up and just check the angles of that plant, the red plant. Just looking at that right now. with the draw. Well, he's very close. Can he get back? Bowl of energy. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I'm looking up to this guy. So we yeah, are coming. Maybe short. One shot, billion dollars. Great shot from Mark. Even just a corner of that bowl and back to the one, I've made a few. Ends. Jack length, 27 metres. If my ears are correct, 27 metres. I think that could be the longest one in the match. Yeah, I think you're right. Start here, Sandra. All the way back now. All the way back. Great start, well done. Good. I'll just take both words to concentrate here because this is a you know, quite a substantial change of length. Decent, just about the pace. I think it's just slightly pushed this. Won't be wasted. Direction needed from Julie here. Used to find about a metre of pace. Not sure she has. Further than her first, but I'm not going to make the trip, I don't think. One green. here for Stuart. Get up for the jack now. Oh, one green. Big balls because if uh, Mark fails there, Stuart's drawn a cracker, he would be confident in repeating it. 
now he's got to do it all over again. Not got any back play, so I think it's just a full draw, really. He's come down the backhand once. No reason why he wouldn't just come down it again, lift his own red, in and off the inside edge. It's bound to be good. Just not going to get down. Two. One. One shot, barely endorsed. Uh, difficult. These are difficult shots. Let's so go one, two time. after three ends. Jack length, 26 metres. This is a bad start. Just a foot or so. response, Julie. Well played. here again for Julie just to put another one in the head something very similar we're on a good track just don't know if she's got the same pace has she not far off in for a shot oh, good ball. Good ball right. here from Mark he's found the answer so far in this game Keep asking the questions, that's all you can do. It's down a great track here. Pull up though. Do you think Stuart will just stick to it or try and tidy up on the four? Looks like he's tidy up on the four. Yeah, I think he knows Mark's too good a player to give him all a go at this. Just try and hide this jack. He's on a great line too. I think he's got better pace than Mark. He's well played. Three red. Well, there ain't a lot of room to draw. Try and run for the jack of the forehand. Yeah, I think I think that's a percentage shot. The two green balls sitting the way they are. The angles aren't great, you know, you, you can sort of get a half and away and nothing else, so, but yeah, it really is a tough draw, I, th I think. 
I think you'd probably be happy even taking one red out. If you even get Stuart's bowl, he might spin onto the jack. Well, anything full then if he hits the front. Just half and away like you said, Darren. Yeah, it's funny how bowls always shape up like that at the front of a head and you know, so many times you get that half and off and nothing else moves. He was right into his target area there, he just needed a bit of luck. Opportunity here though for Stuart to add a fourth. Been a high scoring game, so a four of any any kind is uh, could prove crucial. Needs to run. Three shots, Forrest and Anderson. <laughs> Set score four two after four ends. Evenly matched game this. Jack length 26 metres. Nine shots apiece overall. Sandra and Mark have won seven ends. Stuart and Julie six ends. It's been very, very little separating them. Corrections required here from Julie. Just run through her first. Well, Sandra. Well, what a great ball. Excellent ball. Excellent ball. The right time. Julie and Stuart had picked the three up the last end. Julie's ball was in close if she'd failed there. Stuart was getting in first again. So that was an excellent ball. And draw from Stuart. One down the rink, it's on his pace. His line's very good. Wants to come with it. Mm. I'm lucky, I think. It's still one red, I think, from our angle, anyway.
safe draw here for Stuart to arrive, turns the jack at all, it's going to be good. Better one. One red. Full draw on either side here for Mark. He could keep his back hand. Try and draw to the jack. He does have an option down the forehand just to try and sit the green ball on the red. Whatever his preference is, it's just a full draw either way. Well, might just struggle. Needs to get a piece of it. Oh. Nearly. One shot, Boston Anderson. Really, um, Set score 5 2 after 5 then. Slight gap in this set. The dog must know. The camera's on it. Gone on her. CC is the name of the dog. I know quite a few people have been showing interest on the, the Labrador there. Her name is CC. She's been coming three years now with her owner. Previous dog before CC was here for six years. Is actually Jack a, length, a lovely photograph meters. in the main arena there of the owner's previous dog. I know a few people are asking if I could find out the name, and that's. CC, there we go, lovely name too. Font of so much knowledge. Well, you know, it's always good to find out these answers for people. Good opener here from Sandra. Right, Some start. Just been stood on the line there. Different people aim at different things, Darren, don't they? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's some players that, that quite like to see the lines, the outside marker lines on, on the rink setting. Um, it's just something that people try to take a line from, or, or certainly when they're on the mat, it's something they want to visualise. Yeah, I quite like to see the lines myself, in all honesty. Not that at the point of delivery I'm looking up, you know, I, I kind of look down just a, a short distance in front of, of where I'm aiming, but uh, yeah, I think it's a visual thing for people, and you don't see them, it just doesn't look right. Yeah, it's strange. I know on an indoor surface I like to see it, I don't aim at it, but I like to see it, but on an outdoor green I take my position from the centre of the ring outwards. Yeah, two different things, isn't it? Put an aim there from Sandra, two cracking balls. Just that time in the set when she, she needed to find that. Yeah, two pearlers. Decisions for Stuart here. Go my weight. Got it. Stuart's balls got off the outside of the rink, so that ball would now be dead. Jack's about a yard to the left of centre as you look at it. Yeah, and the, and the good news for the players on the rink with, with that will be that you know you can get near to that spot on the rink. If it goes any further to the corner near to the outside marker pin, then then it does become a challenge, but to that point there, they will get reasonably close. Oh, 
Mark's just left that short, he's just on the respot position there. So we know that's just under three metres. Puzzled look on Mark there, I think he maybe <laughs> thought he was further than that. Stuart needs to miss the green ball. Doesn't want to touch it. My goodness. It's funny, Hungry. in the previous game there was a similar yes. scenario. I don't know if it was in this direction, but um, yeah, just puzzling there. Both players, I think, couldn't really believe they weren't closer than they were. I'm sure there'll be no mistake from Mark Dawes here. Or Wilder. Or Wilder. Wow. Wow. I think sometimes down in that direction away from the commentary box, that back left corner sometimes can be a little bit cooler where the double doors Watch are. Up. Here he does. Yeah, you often find that, certainly. You know, not that the right ever Set score, yeah, five, yeah, three, up to six ends. To, to drop a bit in temperature, and people certainly sitting at that end of the arena tend to, to suggest it's cooler, so... Missed opportunity there, thought. It's kind of the outside wall, I guess, in that direction, isn't it? This side where we are is attached, obviously, to the, the hotel. It's a bit like, I always thought that one when I played at Perth, going towards the ice rink, I always found that just sat a little bit heavier towards the ice rink. Yeah, you know, the environment in the arena definitely can't affect yeah, like the 27 and a half metres. I was just looking around the spectators there and there's, there's quite a crowd in today that's it's probably as, as full of crowd as I've seen so that could have an impact as well yeah it must be must be about six seven hundred people in today A good track here. All the way up. All the way up. Distance now. Very good. It's a good Come effort. Good right. response to you. Hope not. Played three good ends. Very, very close indeed. Line here, run. Julie. Can you run? run. Make the trip. Run. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> That's a great bowl. A little touch on the jab. Bit of a bonus, but that was well played. Strike from Mark. He's followed through close to the respot as well. Good hit. Good result. He's gone this. Yep, the draw. Can 
Can he get down for a piece of the jack? He's going to stop and he'll just run on. One red. Stuart will take his time with this one. He knows it's a big ball if he can draw a second. Give him a four shot lead, two ends to play. Needs to get to the seam, really. Well oh, great ball. Two shots for Aston Anderson. Yeah, two good draws there. Just opens up. Uh, Set score seven three after seven. Bit of a lead. Sandra and Mark don't have to to win this set. A draw or a tied set would be enough for them. That four shots just makes that challenge slightly more difficult. Length 25 and a half meters. Too bad a start from Julie, just a couple of feet through maybe. <coughs> Doing a great track here this time, Sandra. You want us to play this? Uh, just go to goal, I think. Is it? Well, she was right. She knew she was, well, she thought she was just underneath. Another chance. Might just need to swap as well for Sandra Bailey. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Fall behind, Jack. Fall behind. It's no point in getting wrecked on that short ball when there's a, an open hand available. No, definitely a good switch, I think. Really ideally looking for a double here at the, at the least. Give themselves a chance. Just played a great end, I think. This just comes back off that line. Turns in, it'll be a shot. Yep, in for a pair. Two green. Well, Stuart, have you got the pace? Looks close. Very close to drawing this. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. One red. Still get to just turn it there or not? Just yeah, sure, yeah draw. definitely. Sticking with a perfect draw here, try to turn the jack around the corner, make a pair. It's 
not going to get back off that line. Here, yep, yeah, just where Julie's standing now. Don't have to go too deep, you'll be conscious the jack could just spring three, four feet towards the green, so you'll be trying to make sure he has the re spot covered just beyond the pack of balls. <coughs> just want to run. He's underplayed this. He's going to leave Mark an opportunity. Yeah, wanted to be a yard further than that. Well, it's a set set against Mark Dawes, but he has got quite a few options now. It depends on what pace he wants to play. I think he'll go quick at this because if he hits the red ball and the jack does get through, he's then going to send two green balls potentially through with it. He's got the best back green ball as it stands. It was quite firm at Stuart's red ball that's lying beside the jack. That's going to cannon the other green ball through. And then Mark's drive will potentially bring the other one. So, you know, a lot of ifs and buts. But if he hits this target, he could get a good result. Probably wants it just to the right of centre. Down! Down! Oh! Oh, he's been unlucky there. One chance, second set. Forrest and Anderson, nice tiebreak. Yeah, good effort from Mark there. Fairly sure he'd probably be in the bowl, not the, the clean jack, but he almost got a clean jack. Yeah. Sandra won the toss and selected to give Julie the jack in the first hit. Sandra's won the toss and been told to give the <laughs> jack to Julie. <laughs> yeah, Mark wanted last ball. Yeah, I think the the game has been meriting a tie break. Both teams have played some good stuff at times in the match and I think deserve to probably be into a tie break. Length 26 meters. So, three and tie break. Doesn't matter about the shots, it's just about ends one. It's the first pair to win two of these three ends. We'll see themselves into the semi final. Dead ends, well, they get respotted unless we get to the third end of the tie break. Well, good start again, just a foot or so past. Yeah, sometimes just adds an attacking edge to the, the end of the match when it becomes the, the tie-break rules. You're not worried about losing multiple shots. Uh, so yeah, it just sometimes changes things. Slightly looser end from the, the lead thought. Not how much will be getting run at here. It's the first person to get close to this jack. It's going to have the advantage. Can Sandra make the correction first? Can't be far away, she needs to put the brakes on. Yeah, yeah. decent. Two green. It's a decent draw, but Stuart will know if he can just sit inside Sandra's bowl, it'll be locked in. Hard to beat. He's 
It's down the narrow track to try and land this ball. He's very close. Oh, well played. <laughs> One red. Ball. Easier shot for Mark down his forehand. Yeah. Not that it's an easy shot, it's just the better option. Well, on, hurry. Ben. 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 he's played this. Ben. He's made it look easy. Oh, oh, oh. outstanding. Two great balls back to back. One green. Well, really testing each other. He's left Stuart. I can't see the back position. Yeah, he's left Stuart. Absolutely nothing, I think, but a perfect draw. Can't attack it if he puts the green ball on the red. He's, he's not going to get this, the end anyway, so I think he's got to play the same kind of draw and just turn the jack. Well, track looks pretty decent. I think he likes this. I think well. he likes this. Is he running? Oh, what an effort. First down, Billy and Dodge. Well, absolutely some real top class balls being played in that tie weekend, but it's Mark and Sandra. They have the, the first end under their belts on Julian Stewart. They have also chosen to give the jack away. Stewart wants last ball. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Well, Sandra, another good one. It's out on a great track. This length, this will come flying back to the middle. Just oh. running. Good old milk. Good response from Julie. Just over a foot past. Similar draw from Sandra, just trying to just imagine her own boat isn't there and hopefully just drop round it. It's just on the line to land on the back of it. Yeah, it's all right though, not far off. Julie wasn't sure about that one. I don't think she's too bad, to be honest, but she let it go. I'm not sure she was convinced. Just drawn a little, drawn a tracker. Back to chip. to attack this with his first. It's like a almost like a two ball shot. Try and get it opened up with his first and 
give himself an opportunity a wee second. Yeah, maybe hit and recover, like you say. It's some bowl if he draws this again. <laughs> yeah, just looking to open something up. Just going underneath. Mm, difficult now. He can actually nearly feather the bowl away, but I think, is it too red, Darren? I have to know with the back ball. Quite important which one is nearest because it does have second shot. If you say flicking the red off would be enough. I think Stuart was trying to block something there. Yeah. Just probably played it too wide to to be a factor. <laughs> I think the important thing here is who, who actually has second shot. Not too soon about that. If Mark does have second shot, then he would probably play a similar bolt he's first if he can get between the two greens and edge the red out. He could even send one of the greens onto it. It's a very tough draw. Mark says he's going to draw this. No, no. Certainly signalling backhand draw. Wow, this will be some shot. Not if you're wearing red. <laughs> Oh, backhand draw. Yeah, just a foot pass, not a bad effort really. Was always Second going to be a very tough Anderson. draw. Well, this match is going right to the wire. We're into the third tiebreak end. Both teams have won an end each in this tiebreak. I'm sure, Mark will have told Sandra to give the jack away again. Yet, yeah. so Julian Stewart will <laughs> have their choice of jack length, and Mark Dawes will have the last bowl of the end. Hard to pick a winner at the moment. Everyone's playing such great bowls. Jack length, 28 metres. Slightly longer than what she wanted, wanted but won't match if she plays a pearler with her first. Well, she's on a great track here. I think she's played a good opening ball. Excellent oh. opening ball. Oh, perfect. Superb. Close you can. Stay here. Yeah, you can do draw to see you very close. Not a good chance for the seam. Draw to the seam. So it's not a bad place to be for Sandra. She certainly didn't want to come up short on that. Well, I don't think I'd be going anywhere near this. Oh, 
Rounds are in the air <laughs> from Julie. I'm not entirely sure what that means. She drew a cracking ball the last time. Anything pass good here. I mean, you play good balls down there, just try and drop that. Get a good second, and it gives me the option to run the ball, then, doesn't it? So. Just stay here, Mark. If you're happy enough with her, yeah, that's fine. What do I need to lose? Uh, 18 inches is really good. So, 18 inches. Similar line. Yeah. Sand will certainly not want to stop short on this, so I would imagine she'll be past the jack. Doesn't want to block Mark's shot. Yeah, just push through it. So, at the halfway point, advantage red at the moment. Stuart will just cover these green balls, surely. it? Yeah, I think with his first one he has to try and get closer than the back green one. He doesn't want to go anywhere near Julie's ball, but he want to try and beat that back green one so that if Mark does half the, the red ball off without the jack, then he'll still be lying the game. Needs to stop. I think he'll tempt it with this one, Darren, trying to thin it away and force Stuart to draw. Yeah, I think he will know that Stuart's failed. Just Go underneath. underneath. Yeah. And just pushed the red ball at the back through to a better position. He's now in trouble if Stuart can beat the nearest green ball. Mark's in a bit of trouble. Because that red ball you can see there in your picture that he's pushed through is probably the direction the jack's going to travel in. He gets a full red ball. So if Stuart drops this one in and makes it a two, if Mark feels he can't get both balls out, you may be forced to play another crack and draw. <laughs> Nearly stamping the racing. <laughs> That's near enough. Actually finished in a, in a great spot anyway, just sort of centre a rink. Just looking at the moment to see if Stuart's beat the back green, I think. Well, the umpire, uh, the marker, Neil Bryce, will have a look. Yeah, um, my eyes are saying the same thing. Right? Yeah. Point towards this, maybe favour and green there. I say, he did point towards the back, didn't he? <coughs> I, can't, I can't get down to that ball for the bang as well. I can ball, so I can get down to just chip it over it. It's one of these ends where it's the final end of the, the game. Mark can also That's nominate the kill. It doesn't look second. like the jack will go off the rink, but it's obviously an option he has. Just looking, I think it's hard to see where that red ball is. I think has he got the spot or is the red ball just floating just out of the go? Well, he has to choose what pace he's going to play. Even if he plays that pace, any thin on the jack would do. Yeah, I just think Stuart's balls made it very difficult down the same forehand running shot that he, he played the first time. I think if he runs it, he's probably got to change hands and run it on the backhand and try and flick the ball the outside of the line shot, flick it off. Even if it does move the jack a few feet, he's going to be okay. Just don't know from the angle we're looking at whether he can get back round the forehand. But I think if he does run, it will be a backhand runner. I'm going to go for forehand. <laughs> You've got a better view than me. <laughs> we'll have a drink on it. <laughs> Ooh, playing that. 
He's going for a very tough draw. The way he's drawn in this match, you wouldn't back against them. Well, Mark. You wouldn't back run, against run, Mark Dawes playing like this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that is oh. outstanding. What a draw to win the match. Well, <laughs> this game was always going to be fascinating. Mark Dawes and Sandra Bailey taking on the current World Mixed Pairs champions. Well, it was the, uh, the current people. I just can't believe it. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I honestly thought Mark was going to play that forehand runner there. Elected to play such a difficult draw. But if anybody's going to play that draw, Mark Dawes is the man. So it's Mark Dawes that gets him and Sandra through to the semi-final. So we'll be back for you in around about 10, 15 minutes time, roughly, with Alison Merrion MBE and Paul Foster MBE against Scotland's Carla Banks and England's Les Gillett. And then in the evening game, it's an all England affair. It's Sophie Tolchard with Nick Breck taking on little Catherine Rednell and Robert Paxton. We're back in about 15 minutes. Thank you. Oh. 